With his steel pipe, wrestling moves, and massive biceps, the mayor of Metro City is ready to pile drive his enemies into oblivion in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. If you're looking to learn about Hagar and his moves, you're in the right place. Hagar is primarily an up close and personal kind of guy. You won't be able to attack enemies from afar due to him not having any sort of projectile or long range move. It's purely a close quarters fight if you're playing as Hagar. However, when you've gotten into your opponent's personal space, Hagar does lots of damage with his solid normals, powerful specials, and high health. Hagar has both ground and air command grabs to catch a blocking opponent whilst also possessing a fantastic assist. His air pipe command normal is incredible at starting combos and getting easy damage on the opponent, so you want to use this move often. The main problem with Hagar is that for him to get up close and start his offense, he really needs assists that help him get in. Some of Hagar's pros include that he has 1.2 million health, solid damage all round, he has a fantastic assist that's used for eliminating the enemy's pressure, he has a solo OTG, and his level 3 is an invincible command grab. Some of Hagar's cons include that he has no way to fight enemies from a distance, so he has to go to them. He has a hard time dealing with projectile heavy characters who can zone him out like Morrigan and Zero. He needs assists to get in, he's not great at closing distance by himself. He needs assists for combos after throws, and while his pipe move is very good, it can get obvious if you do it too often, so you will get punished. Hagar's best assist is his double lariat alpha assist. This is arguably the best assist in the game due to its high success rate at starting combos or interrupting the offense of an opponent due to its invincibility on startup. There's no reason not to use this assist as it provides you with the most benefits. His next assist is Violent Axe Beta. This assist hits opponents upwards and they'll recover in the air after this connects. It's very difficult to confirm off of this assist, and for the amount of trouble it gives you, it simply isn't worth it. His final assist is his Pipe Gamma assist. While the pipe gives you a ground bounce, you can probably already do one with the character you have out. It also doesn't have invincibility like how the Double Lariat assist does. Overall, you always want to select Double Lariat Alpha as it's the best assist, and it's the most useful one in Hagar's repertoire. Standing Light is a quick forward punch. It has 7 startup frames, 3 active frames, and 16 recovery frames, whilst being minus 2 on hit and minus 3 on block. Standing Medium is another forward punch with slower frame data but more damage. It has 11 startup frames, 3 active frames, and 20 recovery frames, whilst being minus 1 on hit and minus 2 on block. Standing Heavy is a strong downward strike that knocks the opponent down. It has 14 startup frames, 4 active frames, and 21 recovery frames, whilst being plus 1 on block. Crouching Light is a low open palm attack. It has 8 startup frames, 3 active frames, and 14 recovery frames, whilst being 0 on hit and minus 1 on block. Crouching Medium is a downwards punch. It has 12 startup frames, 3 active frames, and 21 recovery frames, whilst being minus 2 on hit and minus 3 on block. Crouching Heavy is a low drop kick that is one of Hagar's most useful moves. It hits as a low OTG so you can combo with his ground pipe or an assist to keep your offense going. You can also push either left or right to roll through projectiles after Hagar hits the ground. It has 16 startup frames, 6 active frames, and 49 recovery frames whilst being minus 29 on block. Hagar's launcher is a standard upward strike. It has 11 startup frames, 3 active frames, and 23 recovery frames whilst being 0 on block. Jumping Light is a downwards attack that looks funny and it's also an overhead. It has 7 startup frames, it's active until grounded, and 1 recovery frame whilst being plus 7 on hit and plus 6 on block. Jumping Medium is a lunge attack, like what Zangief has in Street Fighter. It's another overhead. It has 13 startup frames, it's active until grounded, and 1 recovery frame whilst being plus 19 on hit and plus 18 on block. Jumping Heavy is literally a flying dropkick and it's awesome looking. It's another overhead, having 16 startup frames, it's active until grounded, and 1 recovery frame while being plus 14 on hit and plus 13 on block. Jumping Launcher is a strong downwards attack that functions the same as the game's other air launchers. It has 14 startup frames, 4 active frames, and 23 recovery frames, whilst being plus 19 on hit and plus 18 on block. Performed by inputting forward and heavy, Hagar pulls his steel pipe out of nowhere to strike the enemy. It staggers grounded enemies, ground bounces, and causes a hard knockdown on aerial enemies. You can also use it in combos if you want. It has 19 startup frames, 3 active frames, and 24 recovery frames, whilst being plus 10 on hit and plus 9 on block. Performed by inputting up and heavy in the air, Hagar swings downwards to strike the opponent with a deadly headbutt. It hits as an overhead, causes the opponent to be dizzy if it connects as a counter hit, causes a special knockdown state if it hits an aerial opponent as a counter, and causes a hard knockdown. 
It has 8 startup frames, 4 active frames, and 19 recovery frames, whilst being plus 16 on hit and plus 15 on block. Performed in the air with down and heavy, Air Steel Pipe is one of Hagar's best moves. This move hits as an overhead and causes a ground bounce, so use this move when you think your opponent will block low or try to counteract to catch them off guard. The opponent will be able to fight back with an air throw if you become predictable, so be careful not to get too obvious with this move. It has 14 startup frames, 3 active frames, and 29 recovery frames whilst being plus 18 on block. Performed with a quarter circle forward motion and a button, Violent Axe sends Hagar forward with a forward attack. The light version hits once, the medium version hits twice with a spinning knockdown, and the heavy version hits three times with a hard knockdown. All variations of this move have slow startup, but they leave Hagar safe or with a very strong frame advantage over the enemy. Violent Axe Light is useful in combos due to its large damage and lack of ground bounce. Performed with a DP motion and a button, Hoodlum Launcher sends Hagar forward to grab the enemy and throw them upwards into the air where he can continue the combo. The light version is your primary launcher in combos and it has the least startup of the three variations and moves him closer to the enemy, all while providing him with frame advantage. The medium and heavy versions function the same and do the same amount of damage, but they have more startup and are unsafe on block. The heavy version also travels in the air to catch mid-air opponents. This move is great for mix-ups because the startup animations all look the same, so your opponent won't be able to tell which move you're doing at first glance. You can also use it to close the distance between you and an aerial opponent. Performed with a half circle back motion and a button, Flying Pile Driver is Hagar's main command grab. The weaker the version, the more range you get, with the catch being you do less damage. However, the heavy version only has one frame of startup and does lots of damage, so use that version when you get the chance. Performed with a half circle back motion and a button in the air, Sky High Backdrop is the same thing as the previous move but in the air. There's no way for your opponent to block this, so if they super jump and you're on the ground out of the camera's view, super jump up and surprise them with a sky high backdrop and then start a combo with crouching heavy and an assist. You can also whiff this move in the air to stall for time and avoid grounded enemies. Performance by pressing the launcher and another attack button at the same time on the ground, Hagar performs his double lariat with invincible startup. This move is fantastic to use in combos to convert into a level 1 super, and if an enemy is crouching, they will avoid this move. While this sounds bad, you can actually cancel this into a level 3 command grab to catch them if they're up close and blocking. This move will cause 100,000 points of self-inflicted damage on Hagar, but the pros outweigh the cons with this move. However, it is unsafe on block, so don't get into the habit of spamming it if you don't have the meter to convert into a level 3. Performed with a quarter circle forward motion and the launcher button in the air, Wild Swing is an air command grab that can be button mashed for more damage. This move is a rare exception compared to other command grabs as you can combo into it, even up to 2 or 3 times if you get creative and find a combo incorporating it multiple times. This move is Hagar's main combo ender and causes a hard knockdown which can be followed up with a crouching heavy and an assist. Performed with a quarter circle forward motion and two attack buttons, Rapid Fire Fist is mainly used to continue the combo after Double Lariat connects. It has invincibility on startup, so it can also be used as a close-up reversal. Mashing buttons before the first hit powers up the move, so make sure to button mash before it connects, but be careful not to accidentally activate X-Factor. This move causes a large ground bounce, so you can combo after it if you time your follow-up attack right. Performed with a DP motion and two attack buttons, Giant Hagar Press makes Hagar leap high into the air and then come back down with a giant explosion. This move deals substantially more damage to aerial opponents as it will hit them more often. This is due to the final hit being the only part of this super connecting with grounded opponents, and it's also an OTG super. You can combo into this move after a launcher if you tiger near the input. Performed up close with a half circle back motion and two attack buttons, Final Hagar Buster is Hagar's level 3 super. It connects as a command grab with 10 frames of invincibility and great range. You can use this move to punish an opponent who is doing a normal, special, or even a hyper combo from up close. 
After this lands, you can continue with a combo with Crouching Heavy and an assist. The most basic combo for Hagar is the Magic series, followed by Giant Hagar Press. But here are some better combos for you to use in an actual match. Some of Hagar's popular partners include Hulk, Sentinel, Wesker, Nemesis, Doctor Doom, Spencer, Frank West, Chris, Arthur, and Akuma. These characters provide Hagar with ways to get close to his opponent through their various projectile assists, or to continue combos after a hard knockdown. I personally use Hagar with Hulk and Sentinel for a big body team, but the other characters will also provide you with a great starting point with Hagar. That's all I've got for you when it comes to Hagar. Overall, Hagar is a strong grappler character who lays the hurt onto his enemies when up close and personal, but he can't do much from afar as he doesn't have ranged moves. He does lots of damage with his combos and supers, and his double lariat assist is one of the best assists in the game, so make sure to use it often. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.